month we decided to go to Bushview Park. We just did a fun ride out there just to get a little bit of that competitive feel of how to sort of be in a fun environment but still be in a, be in a race mode. technical little ride. There's a lot of flat open areas and then as you come to a certain section they'll have a number out of 10 rated difficulty on it. It started out quite fast. The first thing I noticed was was the arm pump that you get. I think my strongest suit to riding is uh, racing and uh, flatlands and Nick's kind of getting better at rock climbing. Um, and then we did the second loop and we went through the different levels. So we went through level six, seven, uh, nine, and 10, and uh, really great through the rivers, up nice rocks. We did a little wager just to make it a little bit more fun. And, and so we all committed to 50 Rand. So I won that race with a friend of ours, and we decided to donate that money to Hearts at Hope. So yeah, all, the, all in all, it was a great day's ride. Everyone had fun. So the middle of March, we had the privilege of, of riding with, a, with an absolute legend, Alfie Cox. We first got to take you down into the valley and see um, rock riding is what we got to go and find. And that's yep. what we're going to go and look for today. Wonderful. Just to see how you are on the rocks, because basically the roof, that's what it's about. Uh, it's only rocks. So let's go and baptize you guys by fire, I'd say. Brilliant. a little bit with, the, with a few hill climbs and stuff. His back tire was super smooth and I think we were also kind of um, feeling a bit intimidated because of all these pro riders. A few of the guys went up and, and um, it, just, it just was very, very slippery. Very, it, it, it bounced me all around um, and, I, and I, I gassed myself on the, on the first three, three attempts and, uh, and eventually Alfie took the bike just to see if there was anything wrong. He stood up and, and got up quite easily. So that's how the ride began. And I, I don't know if it was a bit of underlying nerves riding with Alfie. You guys are sitting too far back and then you, then you lose control, you see? You have to have your whatever in the tank all the time. He gave us really sort of basic fundamentals just in order to improve our game with the different terrain. Um, you know, when you're climbing hills to keep ourselves very forward on the bike uh, so that the bike doesn't flip when you're on the side of a hill just to, to weight the peg on the outside. Yeah, it was, it was an absolute privilege and, and, and we're really looking forward to, to riding a lot more with Alfie just in the build-up to the qualifier now and then, and then to the actual route of Africa. It was great to get that kind of feedback from how, what, what level we are at in our riding. Throughout the ride, we just kept on their tail and uh, it was fun, there was a lot of low hanging trees, slippery sandy hills, there's not much boulders and rocks that we ride up. From the last time we rode in Nanda, we didn't really get to do much enduro riding, so it was nice to get out there and do a really nice long ride with Alfie Cox. There's a lot of areas we have to work on, as we will see from the video, but uh, it's a good start and the boys are keen and they want to do it and uh, that's the main thing. Uh, yeah, we'll work on it as we go along, but and I'm sure we'll see an improvement in the next two or three inserts. It turned out to be a fantastic ride. I can definitely see the difference in the riding this month. We've been training a lot with the Russell White Academy. Sean White, Russell's son, has, has been taking us through the paces, doing a lot of um, sprints, a lot of jumps, a lot of sparking and dropping the heart rate. Russell White is, is very well known to training the top, top riders in motocross, enduro and in the cycling community. You need that recovery time and whenever you get to the top of the hill, a lot of the times before we were battling and we were, we were kind of loss of air, loss of breath. So this Russell White training has really got us much stronger, much fitter. We've really felt the difference in our riding, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been really beneficial. 
Andrade was the toughest of the month, I think. Sunday morning, we've uh, had a very hard week of, of training. Two really intense uh, cardio CrossFit sessions. Yesterday we had a really intense uh, bike ride, uh, about a four and a half hour. So the bodies, body, bodies are really broken. And, uh, and now it's Sunday, and we're on to our very last sort of ride for the week. And uh, looking forward to it. We're going to Ndwedwe with, uh, with some high level guys that have ridden the roof many times. So we, we're looking forward to like a last final push for the week. Yeah, the ride started out, out also very fun. We went down some hills and we were doing a river crossing. And, uh, and one of our, our friends drowned his bike. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Well, they've taken the entire car off. And uh, I think it's the second time they've taken the car off. Um, I think now that they found stones out their car, uh, we should start now, I think. We eventually got the bike riding because uh, Mauro was towing the bike and they started it while they were taking it out of the bush. Hey, we got to start it! This ride's got a lot of river crossing, uh, a lot of flat land, and then eventually we found, uh, on the ride we found this goat path that I don't think anyone's ever ridden up. A lot of the guys thought it was actually unrideable. Yeah, so we're in for a, for a hell of a climb now, eh? <laughs> just come through a really lucky little section. Just contemplating whether to this in the seat or not. We got halfway up, a few of the guys wanted to turn around but, um, but we just we pushed through and eventually we actually had to pull each other up with the tie downs, two or three guys on one bike. I mean it was really really steep and really technical but, but yeah we got up in the end and, and um, I think it took us about two hours to, to actually get up the hill and the hill was probably only about um, half a kilometre. We just did uh, a mini Erzberg section I can see that the fitness is kicking in, so now we have to work on technique. I'm looking forward to some lazy boy action and uh, just to relax over some nice, nice food.